This is Bill Fleming at the Olympic Judo site, the Eagles Nest Gymnasium on the campus of Cal State University in Los Angeles. We're getting ready for the final match in the competition. This will be the gold medal bout where there is no weight division. In other words, there's no limit in the open division. And that's what we're going to see right now. This gymnasium absolutely jam-packed to watch this match between the celebrated Yasuhiro Yamashita of Japan and Mohammed Rashwan of Egypt. Seated with me is Lieutenant Colonel Paul Moriyama of the Air Force Academy, the head coach of the United States Judo team, and we will be asking his expert opinion here about this particular match. Now, Yamashita has not been defeated since 1977. He truly is a legendary figure of Japan. He is in against a man who weighs 309 pounds, and Rushwan is down. You may have noticed that Yamashita had an ankle that he was favoring, and the question is, did he want to take this man down, Paul? Yeah, uh, Rushwan just goofed up. Uh, he tried a technique and went down, and uh, right now uh, Yamashita has his leg trapped, but now that it's loose, the hold is in effect. The hold is in effect. Now, if he can hold this for 30 seconds, in other words, if he can keep control, he would win the gold medal. Watch that little clock. And I don't think he's going to let him go. Yamashita is one of the best man, man that, we, uh, that uh, we've ever had in judo. He has 15 of those seconds. Yamashita has won three matches. He is going for the gold again. Rush one of Egypt. He's very close. This gymnasium will erupt, and Yamashita breaks into tears. His mother and father are seated across from us, Mutsuo and Shizuko. It's the first bit of emotion, Paul, that I have seen Yamashita display. Yamashita has won every title there is available to a judo man. But this was the one that eluded him because he made the Olympic team in 1980 and because of the boycott, uh, this was the one title he wanted more than anything else in the world and he ha he's got it. He would have played in this final match if he'd had a broken leg. Oh, there's no doubt about <laughs> it. Uh, the, the entire burden of Japan uh, was, was on him. Uh, he had the responsibility of the entire Japanese population and he had to win. Now, here's where you say that Rashwan goofed. He's coming in for a harai goshi or a loin sweep. But Yamashita just turned him around, threw him down, and now Yamashita is maneuvering into a hold down. So, the crowd saw what they hoped they would see. They saw this legendary figure who has been called perhaps the greatest judo player of all time win four straight matches. He threw Coley of Senegal in 28 seconds before Schnabel of Germany into submission with a choking hold. With 2.51 elapsed, he threw Laurent Del Colombo of France after 2.12 and then he destroyed Mohamed Rashwan of Egypt. As you saw there, he had him in control and won the gold medal. So the way things stand, Yamashita of Japan wins the gold. Rashwan of Egypt wins the silver. Mihai Chiyok of Romania wins one bronze. Artur Schnabel of the Federal Republic of Germany wins the other bronze. This is Bill Fleming thanking Lieutenant Colonel Paul Moriyama for being with us, saying so long from the Olympic Judo site on the campus of Cal State.